This is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now test preparation series coming to you with an actual practice test uh, that is put out by the GED testing service. The GED testing service is the actual service that actually writes, prepares, and produces and distributes the GED test. So this is their actual practice test. So I'm showing you one of their sample math problems here. So an office uses paper drinking cups in the shape of a cone with dimensions as shown. You probably remember these cups if you've ever been to a doctor's office or any place that you're waiting. Sometimes they just have one of these water jugs and with these cups that you can simply drink out of. So that's what we're looking at here. Uh, and uh, the question is, uh, to the nearest tenth of a cubic inch, what is the volume of each drinking cup? So we want to know the volume or how much uh, material can fit uh, inside uh, of this shape. Okay, so uh, we're going to look at our formula sheet here. And on the test, you can just simply click on that. And we go here to cone. And, and then we see that the volume of a cone is one-third pi times r squared times h. Okay, so now what I want to do is go to my whiteboard. So on my whiteboard here I've written out this formula uh, one-third times pi r squared times height and I've just drawn the picture of that little uh, drinking water cone that we've been given. Now the next thing we have to do is to begin to fill in uh, the 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 values of this formula. So we know we have one-third and then I'm just going to use parentheses just to make the multiplication that we're doing here clearer. So the number pi is 3.14 and if you have any questions about that I'll be happy to explain that to you except I'm not going to spend any time covering it right now for the sake of time uh, for this particular video lesson. And then R, uh, R stands for radius. So the distance across a circle is called the diameter. So the full distance from this point to this point is the diameter. But then the radius is half the distance across the circle. So here we have two and three fourths and so we're just going to cut that in half. So we're just going to divide two and three fourths. It's going to be divided by two. And if you spent any time with me, you know that I do a lot with fractions. So let's just do this one here quickly. Four times two is eight. Uh, eight plus three is eleven. All over four. And then when you're dividing a fraction, you change it to multiplication. And then you flip this number here. So two, uh, instead of being two, is basically two over one. Um, because two divided by one is two. Um, so you flip it to one over two. And then 11 times 1 is 11, and 4 times 2 is 8. And then we're going to reconvert that uh, back into a uh, fraction for our purposes, or we can just leave it like that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and leave it like that, uh, 11 eighths squared, then times the height is 4. Okay, so then by using your calculator, you're simply just going to work out that math. So one third times 3.14 times 11 eighths squared times 4. Now, this is something that you would really need a calculator to do. Um, you, you could work it out by hand, but uh, on the GED test, uh, you're going to get a calculator. So let me just pop back to that screen there. So back on the screen here, you on the GED test, you would actually just click calculator. Now this is not a real calculator for you to use, but this is just a calculator to show you what it would be like on the GED test, and you will go ahead and put in that calculation. So now let me go back to my whiteboard here. So you might remember on the past GED test, you got scratch paper. So on the new GED test, you're going to get a whiteboard, and you simply are just going to work out the math. And so in this case, uh, I've gone ahead and worked out the math for us um, so one-third times uh, three three point one four times eleven over eight squared um, times thirteen equals seven point nine 
Okay. So now let us go back to our <coughs> excuse me. Let us go back to our other and so this is a multiple choice question. So we see we have some options here. And of course, we're going to choose option B and keep on cruising to the next problem here uh, on the test. Now, so I have created also in my Get Your GED Now test preparation series a uh, practice math tests for you to work through as well uh, and they're designed to mirror and be very similar to the GED practice test but again my uh, uh, focus is to get you prepared so that you can answer those types of questions and so you can actually pass the test and be successful so we do know that on the new 2014 version of the GED test it is not just all multiple choice but there are also fill in the bank blank questions where you can uh, take some numbers from a bank and you can uh, just put them here uh, uh, in, in any spot where you think that they are appropriate but before we get to doing that let's just go ahead and read our question so it says choose the appropriate answer from the bank of possible answers to complete the question below so Renee ordered a balloon in the shape of a soda can at full inflation, the balloon will stand 13 feet tall and measure 8 feet across. How many cubic inches of helium would she need to fill the balloon? Complete the equation representing the volume of this shape. So not exactly like the problem, but very similar to the problem that we just looked at. So give me a moment. I'm going to go back to our whiteboard. So here on my whiteboard, I went ahead and have the formula for the volume of this shape which is a cylinder or the shape of a soda can and uh, excuse my crude drawing there um, but again so the first step is to go ahead and to figure out uh, the these representations what the actual numbers are so we know the number for pi is 3.14 then I'm just going to use parentheses just to make our multiplication clear and radius so again the distance across the circle is called the diameter, but half the distance across the circle is called the radius. So if the diameter is 8, then half the, dis half the distance of 8 is 4. So I'm going to go ahead and put 4 in for R, and remember to square that. And then uh, the height is 13. Okay, so again, as I explained with the previous problem on the GED practice test, uh, you know, you're going to uh, have that calculator. But again, I've gone ahead and done the math ahead of time for us. So that is gives us a volume of uh, 653.12. So now that's our volume. Now let me go back to our practice question. So from our whiteboard work, we already know that the volume of that figure is 653.12. We know that the radius, which goes in that first position, is 3.14. We know that half the diameter uh, of 8 was 4 and 4 squared. 4 times 4 we know is 16, so we're going to plug that in there. And then we know the height of that. Uh, balloon is going to stand 13 feet tall. So now we have completed the equation representing the volume of this shape and we would submit our answer and it would simply tell us that we got our answer correct. So again, so the whole purpose of taking you through these lessons is to show you just that there is a way to conquer this math. Most people are afraid of the math. They let the math stop them and it causes them to procrastinate. They don't know what to focus on. But I have prepared the Get Your GED Now test preparation series so that you have the specifics of what you need to study. You do not have to search the internet and find out this subject or that subject or go back in your memory bank and say what was I good at in school it is all laid out for you in clear lessons breaking it down so you will be prepared for this GED test that you will know how to approach these questions and you will be successful again this is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now test preparation series showing you how the new 2004 GED math version will affect you but also showing you how that you can have success and overcome in 2014. Thank you.